Fig hunts need fig views. Fig hunts need fig views. Fig hunts need fig views. Right here on YouTube. Fig hunts need fig views. Fig hunts need fig views. Fig hunts need fig views. Right here on YouTube. Step off, people. I'm taking over. Hey, YouTube, for the collectors, newcomers, and most of all, people. They really do love my content. It's your boy, Mr. Stardew. Back at it again with another figure review. Today upon your phone, TV, or computer, or whichever device you're watching this video on, we have here Man Bat, DC Multiverse, McFarlane Toys. And oh yes, we're going to review this guy, but man, he's so damn massive. You see, I had to bring back my camera and expose all of the black box just to get this guy in this shot and package it but once i take them out you know the shot won't be you know revealing so much like it is right now now i didn't want y'all to see all that i just want y'all to see the background you know what i'm saying the brick wall and stuff but since i had to pull it all back for y'all can see everything you know it is what it is it's just the realness and mr stardew so without further ado let's my chair without further ado let's get into the package that he comes in so at the bottom you see the dc multiverse man bat got 12 plus at the top we're gonna bust this side right here oh that glare oh oh that glare hurt my eyes so we got the man bat dc multiverse and we got mcfarlane towards at the bottom let's see what's on the other side and i think it's the same thing you know how mcfarlane do you know what I'm saying? You got the Man Bat, DC Rebirth, DC Multiverse, and McFarlane Toys at the bottom. Let's see. Anything on the top? That's just DC Multiverse. And the bottom. Ooh, you see that price? Ooh, 40 bucks. And they got it on the barcode. Dang it. Oh my God. Why they put it on the barcode? Um, I'm sorry, people. I'm just pulling this off so y'all able to see the barcode. Uh, some people tend to use this. So here it is right there. And now let's take a look at the bat. The back of the bat. So, man bat. So let's look at this for a second. Awesome. Look at Batman dying now. Chained up man bat running away with thousands of bats in the back of them and the bat signal that's dope man artwork on this guy is phenomenal man i like it i like it so man bat got 22 points of articulation y'all know i'm gonna check it to see do we have 22 points of articulation so without further ado i'm gonna turn this guy back around oh and dc motorist at the bottom um, I'm falling towards. So I'm gonna turn this guy back around, and y'all should know by now that when I have an angle like this, that means that you know you won't be seeing this right here, that glare, that ring light, baby. So that's why I have it angled like this. So without further ado, let's get into Man Bat. Bam, there he is, Man Bat. Nice, awesome, phenomenal. Piece of work, McFarlane, you're really doing it. As always, when you get a figure, man, you always got some type of gripe. And yeah, I do got some gripes. A couple to be exact. But we're going to get into that a little bit later in this review. So, without further ado, let's get into the accessories. We just don't have much. He's a man bat. What kind of accessory do he need? Um, A gun, maybe. Which, you know, you can't get guns with um, these types of figures. Um, you know, you know, y'all know what it is about the gun thing, but man, bat does not need a gun. So, for starters, let's get into the accessories they do have. Bam, this right here, which we gonna probably need with this guy. Straight up, we gonna need this and some few other things to keep him standing for real. And also, he come with a calling card, and it's just the same as the one on the back of the packet that he come with. This is a dope photo of this guy, man, for real. 
And here's the back. You're more than welcome to pause that and read it. Let's go. So, Man Bat, he's also just like um, the lizard, Kurt Connors. You know, similarities there. You know what I'm saying? He's not really a villain. You know, he just took some stuff to turn him into this Man Bat. So, without further ado, let's get into his detail look. Yeah, this is some serious detail and work going on right here, McFarlane. Very serious, man. Now, y'all know as I was talking about a gripe a while ago. Here's one right here. Can y'all tell me what's wrong with these blue jeans? Can anyone tell me in the comments before I let you know? Okay, I'm going to let you know. They look like two different type of um, coloring. You know what I'm saying? The scope is different, too. The pan scope look different from this part right here. You know, and, and the coloring as well. It's like it's a little, this like look like a little bit lighter than this right here. But don't get it twisted. I like it. You know, I like it. But you, it's noticeable. It's very noticeable. You know, but let's continue with the look of it. And, you know, he got detailing in all of this figure. Look at those ankles and those feet. Right, number two. Weak ass ankles. These are some weak ass ankles. Y'all know he's heavy top. So you try to stand this guy, he gonna fall. He gonna fall. So that's why I say you gotta use that stand and some more other stands to get this guy to stand. But for the most part, man, the detailing on this guy is phenomenal. I must say, look at the wing. <laughs> look at the back. Hairy ass figure. Get a bag. Yes, 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 yes. Man, bad. It's awesome, man. It's awesome. So what we're gonna do now is get into some articulation. So let's articulate this guy. Let's see if he can look up. And we know they say he said he got twenty-two points, but I don't believe this figure right here got twenty-two points. So. You look up, that's one. You got a rotation, he rotate right here. That's two. And he also rotate right here. I don't know if that's considered, this is considered as one articulation right here, the head. I don't know if this is considered one, two, but I'm just gonna say two. Um, let's see. I don't wanna, three. Four, he's single joint in the elbow. Five, six, seven, um, eight, nine, ten, eleven, double joint at the knee, twelve, ankle rocker, thirteen, toe hinge, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, toe hinge, seventeen, eighteen, um, I just, I just, 18, 18, 18, 18, that's all I got, 18 points of articulation, not 22, if anybody can um go and do some articulation on this man back and find 22 points, I would like to see that, I would love to see 22 points of articulation with this figure right here, um, uh -huh. Yeah, but it's just I just I just counted 18. 18 points of articulation. So, what we're going to do now is get into some size comparison. Okay, people. So, as you can see, um Swamp Thing is much taller than Man Bat. And Killer Croc is much taller than Man Bat too. But Swamp Thing is taller than both of these guys, man, like, he just making these guys look like good infants. Moving right along. So now, we got Batman Earth. Y'all know I forgot. I think it's Earth 1. This guy right here. And we got King Shark. This guy right here. And, um, 
they somewhat scale about the same. King Shot might be a tad bit bigger than both of these guys. Yeah. Let's keep it pushing. Okay, so we got my man Batman, and we also got General Zod with Man Bat. And I keep telling y'all, this is my favorite Batman right now. Um, And as you can see, Man Bat is, is towering over both of those guys. And the scaling is very, very perfect with these figures right here. So up next is my final thought. Okay, people, my final thought of this man bad figure, you know what I'm saying? Overall rating, I'm just going to give y'all my overall rating, even though with them ankles and with those jeans, you know what I'm saying? This guy going to get a 9.5 out of 10. 9.5. Yes. If this is a pickup or a pass? Yes, it's a pickup. If you don't have this guy in your collection, you're not a collector. I'm just going to be honest. And um, even though he got the weak ass ankles and the, I'm just gonna say two tone looking pants, he still dope. He still dope, you know. And um, I wouldn't be saying these things about this figure if I wasn't being real. You know what I'm saying? I'm just calling out what I don't like about the figure, but still, yet you know, I want in my collection. So um. Yeah, uh, you know, the paint outs is good. The scope is, is good, you know. The wings is good, you know. Like I said, McFarlane good with the detail. Um, his teeth, though, uh, one of them is a little bit longer than the other one, but you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It's a man bat. So things supposed to be a little off. You know what I mean? So, yeah, people, hitting y'all up with these reviews, man. I'm going to keep it coming up next is Bane. Yes, I got Bane. He's coming, man. Bane is coming. I can't wait to get this Bane action figure and review it. McFarlane Toys, he's on the way. And y'all, that will be my next review if I don't decide to review anything else today. You know, I have a lot of time, so I might do another review on another figure, but if not, Bane is up next. So, that being said, um, I hope y'all enjoyed this review as much as I enjoy making it. Um, if this is your very first time checking me out, do yourself and me a favor. Subscribe. Turn the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. And y'all let me know what you think of this image that I got right here, this pose. I'm doing more posing now. So let me know in the comments about this posing. You know, it's Batman trying to talk to the man Bat. And he's actually sitting there listening instead of just going in on this guy. So... Um, that being said, another one for the books, people. This is your boy, Mr. Stargent, for the sign off. To all the YouTube for the collectors, newcomers, and most of all, people that really do love my content, deuces, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.